a few weeks ago. I got this Arduino Uno Q and I was super excited. I immediately started a live stream and tried to get the LED to blink. What should I say? I failed. But I believe in second chances. I should get the second chance and Arduino Q should also get the second chance. There have been some updates, so I downloaded the latest software. I would really like to see an LED blink and I would really like to play around with this thing. So let's give it a try. First, I would like to try Arduino IDE because that's the program I know and that's how I usually program Arduinos. So let's connect it to the MacBook. We get this nice animation here. These are all Arduino Q examples. I will just try LED matrix video. Board Arduino Q is selected and it found the Arduino Q. Okay, this is amazing. It worked. But last time I tried the blink example and it didn't work. If we try blink, let's try blink. So blink doesn't work, but I, I, I think it's not Arduino's fault. I think it's my fault. Let's go to arduino.cc, Arduino Q. Ah, no, it didn't fix the keyboard yet. Yeah, view documentation. So this is what I would like to achieve. I would like the LED to blink. I have to say, this is a very nice solution. They have the STM microcontroller with some LEDs and the Qualcomm chip with some LEDs. Pretty cool idea. And it looks like it's an RGB LED. Yeah, it is. Is it possible to let it blink? using the Arduino IDE, because I don't want to use the App Lab right now. I just want to let it blink. Ah, yeah. So MCU pin LED free, LED free green. So this is not how this works. Maybe pH 11. No, it's really weird. Maybe the LED has some issues. Let's go to LED 4. <laughs> Nothing is blinking. It's compiling and obviously uploading, but not blinking. I wonder if I can get an external LED to blink. Pin 13 and ground. It's not blinking. What am I missing here? Set up pin mode 13 output. Digital write 13 high, low. So it should blink. Arduino switched to 3.3 volts, so the resistor is a little bit too big. The STM outputs 3.3 volts and the LED requires 2 volts. So there is 1.3 for the resistor. I would like to have 20 milliamps. So it's 1.3 divided by 0.02. 65. I don't have 65. <laughs> Right now there is 150, but it doesn't show any sign of blinking. Let's test the circuit. Look, if I connect it to five volts, it's LED goes on. And even with 3.3 volts, it, it works. I don't need this. Maybe pin 12 works. No, still nothing, okay. Let's try to do it with the app lab. <laughs> yes, I, I did 
I did experience some functional issues, so we highly recommend to update your port software using Arduino Flasher tool. It's a different tool. Okay, interesting. Let's download the Arduino Flasher tool. Arduino Flasher tool. A tool to download and flash Debian images on the board. Build it with task built and then run. I have to build it? Oh, it's already built. Flash latest. All right, just flash latest. That's That shouldn't be too hard. Flash latest. Allow, allow, yes. Ooh, okay, that's amazing. I mean, my, my internet connection is not amazing, but it's downloading the image. Great. It's a good thing that you can flash it <laughs> because I'm really worried about destroying the file system on this thing. If you just unplug power, that could easily happen. All right, it downloaded the image. Flashing a new Linux image on the board will erase any existing data. Yeah, that's expected. What is EDL? It doesn't look like it's doing anything. Let's close this. Yes, please. No, I already downloaded it. Now I have to download it again. <laughs> no. Okay, here we go again. Waiting for EDL device. Um, what should I do? Flashing new firmware image. Um, Arduino. Uno Q, USB C cable, female to female jumper wire. All right, I downloaded it. Add the female to female jumper cable between the two pins. Okay, I will move my LED for now. Disconnect the port from your computer. Add the female to female jumper cable between the two pins. Connect the board to your computer. And now we should be able to run the following command. Yes, let's do this. Terminal flash a tool flash latest. Do you want to download it? Yes. I want to proceed. All right, it is updating. Let's see if that helps. I'm not too confident because the STM is connected to the LEDs and right now we're flashing the Qualcomm chips. So why would the LEDs suddenly work? I am not convinced. This board is complicated, so maybe it helps. The board has been successfully flashed. You can now power cycle the board. Remember to remove the jumper. Okay. I unplug the board, I remove the jumper, and now we try again. Arduino App Lab. I see an Arduino Uno Q. Update failed. If problem persists, try flashing the latest OS image using Arduino Flasher tool or contact the Arduino support. Oh, I mean, that's basically what I did. So let's, let's unplug and try the app lab again. Okay, this looks great. Um, it found updates.
Restart. Now this is a nice feature. I can connect using the USB or Wi-Fi. Let's use USB. No updates, that's good. Username. Arduino. Yeah, I will go for Arduino. Arduino Q. Confirm. Okay, blink LED. This example shows how to make the LED blink. So there is a main.py and also a sketch.ino and also have a YAML file. So main.py is running on the Linux part on the Qualcomm chip and the sketch is then running on the STM. It is using LED built in, so I'm not too confident that it works, but let's see. What is it doing now? Is this already executing? It didn't upload a sketch. No. Oh my God, it's not. Failed uploading. Uploading error. Exit status one. Interesting. Okay. Failed blink LED dot YAML. Awesome. Okay, let's, let's try again. Let's unplug it. I will close the app lab, connect the queue, start app lab. Open the blink LED example. Okay. Blink LED. I did that. Click on the run button in the top right corner and wait for the app to be uploaded. Run. No way. I wasn't expecting that because this is the code that is executed. If I copy this code, I stop this here. Let's stop this. And then I go to Arduino IDE new sketch arduino q i will input this i don't need the bridge remove the bridge i will use digital write delay i'm really curious if this works now yes let's blink pin 13 and see what happens Okay. All right, so I wasted a lot of time on this product. I'm really fed up with it, but it works now. Now, including the live stream, it only took me three hours. I'm already recording for two hours. I mean, most of the time it installed updates. The board obviously is not broken, so I don't know why it wasn't able to just be programmed using the Arduino IDE. Very strange. So yeah, if you also purchase this Arduino Uno Q and it doesn't work, then I would definitely try to upload the latest Linux image and then it should work after rebooting a few times, of course. It has to fail and then you try again and then it works or it doesn't and it's just frustrating. Please let me know in the comments. Are you interested in Arduino Q? Should I send this back to Italy or should I make videos about it? Because I don't really know. It's a very buggy product at the moment. It has a lot of potential. It might be worth looking into. If you are thinking of purchasing Arduino Q, think again. And if you already purchased Arduino Q, please let me know if it works for you. Anyway, if this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, hype. Maybe it was just bad luck. I don't know. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.